I just think once you see something like this, this is also where I love QVC. If I saw it in a cook store, I wouldn't know what all the pieces were and why it was put together and what the big deal was. But now we have an opportunity to explain it to you. So this is our multi-use strainer. You're gonna get two bowls and you'll get two lids, all for $20.98 and on a great easy pay plan of just $5.25 a month. It comes in four colors. We've sold over 25,000 of these. Natalie Lockett's from Cook's Essentials back with us Hi. again. So your colors here, just so you know, are red, green, blue, and purple. What you're getting, you're getting this piece here that has that strainer bottom to it nice easy handle and a pour spout. You're gonna get two of these bowls so that you can use this one here, strain stuff, and if you need to do something else and use it again, you can do that. Or if you need to store with this, you'll get lids for these two bowls as well. So there are really four, five pieces to this set, the strainer here, the two bowls, and the lids that go along with it. That said, why not why don't i just put my big colander right. in my sink and use it like that right well this is just we all use colanders we all use strainers this is just a smarter design i love that you can do this on your countertop you don't need to have like you were saying the big colander in our sink cross contaminating with whatever we else we have if you're like me i'm a busy mom i have dirty dishes in my sink i don't want to strain my pasta over all those dirty dishes this is so smart. So we not only can do it comfortably on our counter, but we can save whatever we're straining out. So sometimes we like to save the pasta water yes. for sauces because it's that nice, salty, starchy um, water. So we can save that or like you were saying, they come with lids. So we can do a pasta for to bring to work the next day because these are microwave safe. These are dishwasher Isn't safe. Isn't that great? It's so brilliant. So we really, it's just, we thought of well, you know what we need. We we use colanders, we use strainers, and we just made it a better design. Love it. So we can do it on our countertop. As you said, these um, great lids go right on top. These are even freezer safe. So if you wanted to do like cheese sauce or pasta salad, whatever, you can throw it in the freezer and reheat it later in the microwave. Nice. But it's just compact, and these all nest down into one. So you really have the ease of storage too. What's the capacity of the strainer? These are about two quarts. Nice. Yeah, and they have this nice ergonomic, comfortable handle. Mm -hmm. So you know when you have those strainers that have the flimsy wooden handle with the mesh and you're holding it awkwardly trying to lift your bowl of pasta? Yes. This just sits comfortably. There's no balancing. Right, I love it. Yes. Um, I love this too. If you have somebody who graduating from high school, heading off to college, yes. first dorm room, sweet experience. They're gonna have a little kitchen, like you need to give them some basics, this is one of those basics because yes. they're gonna need a colander to strain things. You're gonna have the bowls on the bottom which they can use for a multitude of things. How about this? I remember so growing smart, up, right? my mom cooking the hamburger. Yes. She would grab a can, yep. you know, an aluminum can from soup or dog food or whatever. Then she would take a big spoon. Yep. She would try to angle the pan with the meat <laughs> in it to the fat would go to the bottom and she'd sit there and try I to take exactly the spoon what you're describing. and scoop the spoon fat and put it into the can. And then there was always a little trail of drips. Like how much easier is this? It just take the pan too. over here and let all of the gristle and, yeah. and grease drip down below. Exactly. Or with your bacon. Or with your right? bacon, which uh, how many times have you made bacon and you're like, what do I even do with this grease? Do I throw it into a can? Do I pour it down your sink? I mean, you don't know what to do with it. This is just such a safe way um, to dispose of it Really, yes. but also if you want to cook with your bacon fat later, maybe you want to use your bacon fat, throw this where it drains right into, into your refrigerator, put the lid on and scoop as it out as you use it. Yeah, nice. And now you're not putting the grease and things down your disposal, down your pipes, all of those right. kinds of things, which is never a good idea. No. So we're showing you like your pasta, draining it, and now you've got a little pasta yes. water left over and you can mix it in when you're doing your sauce. Yes. Your ground beef, any of your fatty meats, your sausages, those kinds of things, let it all drain yes. here. Your bacon, which is so good, right? Just let that drain away. Yep. But then we talk about summertime yes. and going to the farmer's market and right. getting the fresh strawberries 
days of the fresh produce. The best. How about rinsing that? What's an easier, better way to do that? Well, we're going to show you right here. Well, I also, so, you know, when you're draining, water's dripping. Now, if you go and set this on the counter, it's going to cause a mess, right? Unless you leave it in your sink. Yeah. And again, we have food in our sink. We have dirty dishes. I don't want to leave fresh fruit just washed in my sink. Yeah. I want to set it on my counter. And I just, it's so simple, but it's such a brilliant design because now it's draining into here and containing it. Yeah. So when it's done dripping, then you bring this to the counter for the kids to eat, or then you throw this into the refrigerator because it's, it's also a great, you know, nice and thick, hard, um, sturdy plastic so you can use this as a bowl. Whether it's your grapes, whether it's your strawberries, right. your blueberries, all of those kinds of things, you're good to go. Yes. Uh, four colors again. So you can do the red like you see here. This is the purple. Yes. Here is your blue. And here is your green. So give us a few more ideas. Here. Yes. So I do a lot of seafood at the house. And yep. I, of course, a lot of times buy frozen seafood. And it thaws in our sink if it's in the package or not. But I now do this because it's going to, I can put a cover on this for starters, not yes. have the smell come out. But also the liquid is going to drain into the bottom. So it's, it's all contained. It's not making a mess in your sink. So thawing meat, seafoods, anything. Great. Of course, this is a colander, so we're using it to strain out whatever we're doing, it, whether it's cans or jars. Olives, perfect example. When we want to save that liquid, you know what? It's Friday. It's Friday night, right? Yes, yes. It's Friday night. So we're saving olive juice. Maybe you want to do a cocktail. Right. You know, it's just, it's, it's smart. You're not, you know, holding your strainer with a bowl underneath. It's just set up in a perfectly nested design to save it for you. And here I'm doing beans. Chickpeas, yes. So whether it's your, you know, garbanzo beans, whether it's your black beans, your cannellini beans, any of those things. Yes. It's a great way to just like rinse those off. Yes. Um, and just let all of the, the juice drain down below. Right. So you're getting the top piece, which is sort of the strainer piece. Mm -hmm. You're getting the two bowls that you drain and strain down into, and then two, two lids. lids. For those bowls. Yep. They're dishwasher safe, they're microwave right. safe, they're freezer safe, and it's $20.98. It's K45682. Stay on the line if you're dialing in. Natalie, thanks Thank again you. for being I here. Loved being nice with to you. see Thank you. you Jill. Um, I was showing you how you can strain your beans with that. Well, I did that on purpose because a lot of you have been asking about my recipes and what's going